New tonight, what drove a man to rob a bank and then sit down and wait for police to arrest him? It happened in Gaston County. A News Channel 36 reporter, Rad Berkey, went to the county jail to ask that man what he was thinking. He tells Rad he had no choice. First time I've ever been in trouble with the law. So it's not, you know, it was, um, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm sort of a logical person, and that was my logic. That's what I came up with. That is how James Verone says he came to the decision to rob the RBC Bank on New Hope Road on Thursday of last week. He had no gun, but handed the teller a rather unusual note. The note said, uh, "This is a bank robbery. Please only, uh, please only give me one dollar." Then he did the strangest thing of all. I started to walk away from the teller, and then I walked back and I said, "I'll be sitting right over here." On the, on the chair waiting for the police. And that's what he did. Listen to the teller on the 911 call to police. He's sitting on the surface as you walk in the front door. Okay. So why did he do everything he could to get arrested? Because I wanted to make, make it known to whoever would know that, you know, it wasn't done for a monetary value. It was done for, you know, medical reasons. That's right. James Verone says he has no medical insurance. He says he has a growth of some sort on his chest, two ruptured discs, and a problem with his left foot. He's 59 years old and with no job and a depleted bank account. He thought jail was the best place he could go for medical care and a roof over his head. You wanted them to arrest you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I went in knowing I was going to jail. James is hoping for a three-year sentence. He figures he'd then be able to collect Social Security when he gets out and says he'd head for the beach. I already got a condominium, um, spoken to the realtor uh, on Myrtle Beach. He knows his story is unusual, and he doesn't recommend doing what he did to anybody else. But James Verone says he has no regrets. He says he's getting good medical care now, but the jail doctor accuses him of manipulating the system. If it's called manipulation, then out of necessity, because I need medical care, then I guess I am manipulating the courts to get medical care. At the Gaston County Jail, Rad Berkey, News Channel 36. Now, Varone may have a problem with his plan because he only demanded one dollar. The police charged him not with bank robbery, but larceny from a person. So he might not get as much time in the slammer as he was hoping for. We'll follow this story and let you know what happens.